the pioneer viewers, how are you doing? I hope you are happy and healthy. So as the pioneer team, we continue to share with you the developments regarding the Russia-Ukraine war. We will soon share with you a critical operation on the front line. As it is known, Ukrainian intelligence is very successfully helping the Ukrainian residents to survive and the Ukrainian armed forces have achieved and continue to achieve significant successes thanks to the support provided by the Ukrainian intelligence. So, there are two very important reasons why the resistance of the Ukrainian armed forces can continue. The Ukrainian army is significantly ahead of the Russian army thanks to the detailed information it receives from the Ukrainian intelligence. And the other important reason is the sacrifices and courage of the Ukrainian soldiers. And the Russian army does not have such a perspective and approach. The Ukrainian armed forces also appreciate this. Again, in recent days, Ukrainian soldiers have achieved an incredible success. Ukrainian soldiers who took action using the information provided by the Ukrainian intelligence disturbed the plan of the Russian army. So what are the latest developments on this subject? Let's take a look together. But before moving on to our report, I would like to make a small reminder. As the Pioneer team, we strive to bring you the latest developments on Russia-Ukraine war, so do not forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss our daily reports and explanations. You know that I also read all of your comments on our videos, so please continue to share your ideas about our content in the comments. Tell us in the comments what content you would like to see on the Pioneer channel Channel. And let's just start if you are ready. The Pioneer reports. So the Russian army is being sent into fierce fighting against and again to be wiped out despite consecutive losses on the front line. And they have no choice but to follow the orders of the Russian president Putin. Otherwise, the Russian army is wiping out even the uh, opposing soldiers within its ranks. So. Vladimir Putin does not care about these casualties and the only thing that matters to him is that the Russian army is able to capture Ukraine and the capital Kiev. I've mentioned this in our previous reports, but Kiev is the historical Slavic capital. Therefore, Putin wants to seize this city so that he can declare himself that the Russian Tsar. In this way, he is trying to present himself as an ear. So, the Ukrainian armed forces remain the biggest obstacle to the Russian leader's dream. And in the past few days, Ukrainian intelligence received incredible information. The Russian troops were going to organize and operation. So during this operation, it was decided that a maximum of 10 Russian soldiers would take part, and the Russian soldiers would secretly infiltrate one of Ukraine's critical positions. And the aim was to break the resistance. However, Ukrainian intelligence had early access to this information and warned the Ukrainian soldiers in the region. After receiving this information, Ukrainian soldiers prepared a detailed defense plan. Of course, Russian troops were unaware of this, and the defense plan of the Ukrainian troops was quite simple a trap. So, Ukrainian soldiers knew that this position was of a vital importance, therefore Russian troops could attack at it at any time. This situation was an uh, artery, right? So, a disaster of this position, which served as a link between the Ukrainian positions, would affect the entire front line. And the Ukrainian soldiers were aware of this situation and took action. The position was evacuated, but it was a trap. So, Russian soldiers secretly began to advance towards the positions, right? So, it was early in the morning. They were actually afraid that they would be caught because the elite Ukrainian units here was made up of soldiers who had been involved in the successful operations many times before. So, there was an uncomfortable silence. The Russian soldiers thought that the Ukrainian soldiers had failed or fled. And this was a vain thought, uh, but it made sense to them. Because the Russian warplanes and the Russian artillery were constantly shelling. Perhaps they had already fled because of the bombardments, but the situation was very different. The Ukrainian soldiers were well camouflaged. Only the barrels of their machine guns were visible through a very small hole, and the Russian soldiers had no chance to see this tiny view. So the Russian soldiers were approaching quietly, okay? So there was no threat to them. 
just when they thought that they had captured the position, the machine guns of the Ukrainian soldiers started up with a great noise. The bullets from the barrels of the Ukrainian soldiers' machine guns rained down on the Russian soldiers and the Russian soldiers were at a loss. They were all scattered on one corner and they were waiting for the rain of bullets to stop. But it did not stop and the Ukrainian soldiers not only ruined the Russian soldiers' plans but also their psychology. And the Russian soldiers who were laying on the ground and trying to protect themselves from the succession of the bullets were at a loss. So according to reports, some of the Russian soldiers tried to escape despite the rain of bullets, but the bullets from the machine guns were even faster than the Russian soldiers, and the Russian soldiers were hit by machine gun fire as they tried to escape. Other Russian soldiers were still laying on the ground and waiting for the rain of bullets to end, and the Ukrainian soldiers kept firing changing uh, magazines in a rapid succession and the artillery bombardment began. So Ukrainian artillery was on the move after one after the another and the artillery shells sparked in the air and then fell with a great noise on the places where the Russian soldiers were lying. So the area turned into an inferno. And the Ukrainian soldiers did not give their positions to the Russian soldiers. Of course, the operation planned by the Russian soldiers had failed. Moreover, they did not even have the opportunity to retreat. So according to the reports, all the Russian soldiers assigned to carry out this operation were destroyed by the Ukrainian soldiers and a great sadness filled the Russian headquarters. So the news that the Ukrainian troops had succeeded in defending their positions was greeted with great joy at the Ukrainian war headquarters. And with this defensive operations, Ukrainian troops once again proved who is the real power in the region. And this position, which served as a connection point within the Ukrainian positions, did not fall into the hands of the Russian troops. In this way, security was ensured in other positions, and many comments were made on social media about the issue, especially Russian users again blamed the Russian intelligence. And according to the Russian users, the reason for this failed operation was the Russian intelligence, of course, because the Russian intelligence did not carry out a primitive, operation. It could not prevent the Ukrainian intelligence from accessing the details of the operation and this led to the destruction of 10 Russian soldiers at a very critical point. Both Russian intelligence and the Russian war headquarters remained silent on this incident, of course, because Ukrainian sources on the other hand made it clear that the resistance will continue with the same intensity on all parts of the front line. Russian leader Putin is in a difficult situation. It is a matter of curiosity. What will be the next move of Putin? Who is cornered more and more every day as the war continues? What do you think? How do you think Russian users' statements about the Russian intelligence should be evaluated? And do you think Ukrainian intelligence is successful? And why do you think the Russian troops cannot achieve the successes quickly? And how long can the Ukrainian defense hold out? Let me know in the comments because you know that I read and I care a lot about all of your comments.